Hello, and welcome to the official Get More Clicks Media YouTube channel. My name is Tiffany, and today I'll be walking you through the quick and painless process of creating your own Facebook page for your business. Whether you run a nail salon, restaurant, or online store, a business page can truly boost your presence online and attract more attention from potential customers. Because there are so many benefits to owning a business page, it would actually be counterproductive not to have one. Which brings me to our tutorial. Let's get started on making our name for ourselves online, shall we? The first thing that you will need in order to create your business page is an active, personal Facebook page. After all, you cannot create a business page without a pre-existing account. So simply type in your credentials as you usually would and log on to your page. As you can see, we've successfully logged into our account. Here's our name, our status bar, and on the top right hand corner, we have a list of potential options. While finding friends or checking our notifications might be tempting, we're here for work and not play, so we're going to go to the Create option. Pressing Create will give us a drop down menu with a list of actions that we can perform. There are certainly a lot of things that we can do today, but right now we're just making a page for our business, so we're going to highlight Page and select it. After pressing Create a Page, you're going to be given two options. You can create a page for a business or a brand, or you can create a page for a community or public figure. Again, we are making a business page, so we're going to go under the business or brand option and select Get Started. Now that we've decided what kind of page we want to make, we need to give it a name and a category. So for this example, let's say the name of our business is Bob's Burgers. For the page name, we'll type in Bob's Burgers. And of course, when you do this on your own, you will use your business's name, not this one, of course. Then you'll go to the category section. Now, let's say that Bob's Burgers is a restaurant. We'll type in restaurant, and it comes up as a suggestion. Now remember, the category option is going to be a descriptor for the kind of business you're running. You want to make sure that the category accurately describes the business. Otherwise, you could get a little confused here. Now that our page name and category are filled out, we have to move on to our address. Your customers are going to need to know where to find you. So you're going to type in your address. For this, we'll use an example address. But of course, when you do it yourself, you will use the address of your business. Put in the city and state, then onto the zip code. And now it gives us the option to add a phone number. We really do want a way for our customers to contact us. And though that can be done with Messenger, the option to leave a number is far more appealing. It gives the customers a more direct way to get in contact with us without necessarily having to wait to be responded to. So we highly recommend you leave a phone number for your customers to call. Once you've typed in the phone number to reach your business, you'll see that you have an option to conceal your address from visitors. This would be more for if you're working from home or have an online business. If that's the case, you can select this option and it will only show your visitors the region, city, and state that you're operating from instead of the complete address. If you're not working from home, you definitely do want your address there so that, of course, your customers can find you. So now that we've put in all the information we need, we're going to click continue. And of course, it might take a moment. Just be patient. And now it gives us the option to add a profile picture for our page. So since we've been given the opportunity to upload a profile picture, you might want to do that at least if you have a certain picture in mind, for instance, a logo or something like that, or even a photo of your business. So 
rather than skip this step, we're going to click Upload a Profile Picture. This gives us a dialog box with all the things that we can possibly select for this. And as you can see, this is labeled Profile Picture, so we'll select this. Now we're given the option to add a cover photo. This can be pretty much anything. Again, a logo, a photo of the business, whatever you think will look best and most adequately describe the kind of business that you're running. So again, click Upload a Cover Photo, and then it will bring you to the options of things that you can upload. Here we have our logo, so we'll just set this logo to be our cover photo. As you can see, we have our page here, and while we're happy with the picture and everything like that, we're not necessarily done with our page just yet. So we are going to click Settings, and we're going to go to Page Visibility here. Now, your page is still incomplete, and we only want our consumers to see a finished product of our page. So We'll click Page Visibility and Edit and unpublish our page. Now, this isn't going to delete the page. It's just going to hide it from view until we're ready to showcase it to the people we want to see it. So you'll click Page Unpublished here and hit Save Changes. It'll ask you the reason why you want to unpublish the page. And right now, our reason is just that it's not finished yet. So we'll hit that option. Now, this pop-up tells us that our page has been unpublished, but of course it can be published again at any time. From here, you can go about customizing your page in pretty much any way that you want, by adding posts, photos, social media, links, things of that nature, whatever you want, your customers to see. And don't be confused. The only reason we're able to see this page is, again, because we're the owner of it. Now, there's still plenty more things to do, but for now, this is sufficient. We've got our profile picture, our cover photo, and the basics, like the address and the phone number. We've set up our page, and that's the first and most important step. Whenever your page is finished, you can click this option here to publish your page again so that everyone can see it. And that was a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a Facebook page for your business. I hope that you learned a lot. There'll be more to come. Be sure to stick around for future videos where we'll show you how to make the most of your brand new business page. I'm Tiffany with Get More Clicks Media, and you can find my page in the links below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.